Alongside Brent Hubbs, I'm Austin Price. Two minute drill on this Tuesday. Tennessee wrapping up practice number one, Brent, for spring practice and uh, your overall observations. Well, I mean, the, the biggest observation is this is a football team that knows what to do. I mean, when you think about it, I mean, last year, Even everybody with 13 or 14 newcomers. Yeah, but last year, everybody came, came out for the first practice and it's literally everybody's at point A. Yeah. Okay. How, how do we get from drill to drill? What's this coach mean when he says this in a drill? That's not the case with this team. Uh, are they a polished product? No, I'm not saying that, but they know what to do, which allows them to go faster. There were not a lot of growing pains out here in the periods that we got to watch today where guys didn't know what to do. They may not have done it right, but they knew what to do. Well, and I mean, you've got older players that are on the, the leadership council um, that are that are you, know, you can depend on, and you're established a quarterback. I think that means the world to a football program when your marquee position you are stable. Yeah, and both sides of the ball know the system. Both sides of the ball know what the system is and, and, and how that works. So I, I think they'll be able to go faster. They'll be able to go further this spring, uh, not even comparing to what, I mean, it's not comparable to where it was last spring. Um, a lot of parts back, a lot of questions, and as a result of, of some of the injuries and some of the questions, you're going to see guys, I think, work in some multiple spots and try to get a feel for where the best 11 is on both sides of the ball. Yeah, cross-training on the offensive line. Yeah, I, I said this on the board and on a podcast, I think, recently. But, you know, when Darnell Wright is someone who you know, told me when he came out for the locker room, I wouldn't mind to play right tackle. If they find somebody that can play left tackle, I will gladly move back to the right. He's very comfortable at either. Well, yeah, and he got work at right tackle today. And, and so you'll see, you know, you'll see him cross train both as they try to figure out what their best answer is there. I think the biggest challenge for this team is, is what do they do at the corner position? And, and can they get good enough competitively? Apparently you're coming out according to hype. No, he's seen my hips are not very good. You're um, fluid. No, they're, they're, not fluid. they're not fluid. There's nothing fluid about me athletically. Every, anybody <laughs> and everybody knows that. But, me but, either. But, but the challenge is how, how do you create the competition you need for both sides of the ball? Because you got Caleb Webb, you, you got Chaz Nimrod, you got Squirrel White, you got all these newcomers that they're going up against guys who likely aren't going to play corner, you know, come the fall. Yeah. So how, how do you generate their development by competition on the other side of the ball? And does and, any success they have fools go? Right. And on the, the, the other side is can you find some depth at corner with a guy like Danico Slaughter working there or Christian Charles working there, even though by, by what you think they're not corners. And so I think that's, that's one to me one of the more intriguing storylines is what does that cornerback position look like at the end of spring practice? Do they find something, a hidden gem there? And then conversely, how does it affect your expectation for where these young receivers are? Most praise that Josh Heupel threw out today. I thought the running back room talked about all that group changing their bodies and really appreciates Justin Williams Thomas and his work ethic and, and approach this off season. So it, it really complimenting all those guys. And I mean, when you think back, I mean, you know, Jabari Small really, you know, could have easily missed spring having a shoulder cleanup is not missing spring and and you know looks like he's put on some weight yeah and i think when you talk about observation you know observations of seeing guys i thought this team looked pretty good from from a from a physique standpoint i mean elijah simmons looks a lot better i think deshaun cherry's body looks better omari thomas looks a little bit leaner uh, Latrell Bumpus looks a, a good bit leaner. Those are just some defensive linemen. Then you look out there at linebacker, Elijah Herring is different physically yeah. than, than what they have at the position. So you're starting to see some of the pieces look more like you want the pieces to look like. There's miles to go. There's not enough here that, you know, they're still building the it's roster, spring. but it's starting to look closer to what you want it to look like. He's Brent Hubbs. I'm Austin Price, Tennessee. We'll return to practice on Thursday and then again on Saturday as it's every other day here in the spring.